So let's see, this is going to go onto the internet to see what the web browser looks like. Pretty quick. Facebook. Pretty quick. Oh, boring. Okay, let's go home. So that's what the home page looks like. And it's almost like an Android tablet or something, but not really. You know, see, it's got the different screens. And if you rotate it this way, nothing happens. Okay, more Netflix stuff. Okay, uh, apps. It's probably not gonna let me onto the app store unless I put in a credit card. Let's see. Library has nothing in it. Okay, free titles. Free! Dang it, this is lame. Two ninety nine, frick. Ay, ay, ay. Well, there it is, whatever. So I didn't use it very long before I realized that this, the Barnes & Noble store, which is, it's pretty lame really limited and almost everything it costs money there's very few free app free games you know 99 cents you know that's not expensive it's not, not a ton but 99 cents for real basic apps is pretty lame so I looked on XDA forums and sure enough there was a way how to root it and sideload so, standard Android Market to so install regular apps. Looks a lot easier than the stupid Barnes & Noble one. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. So, you know, just like on a phone, you, know, you get all these, you get all the free apps you want, whatever, pretty cool. But right now I'm using the... Um, Go Launcher EX. Which is pretty cool because this is the one where you can kind of do kind of iPhone type things. Which is pretty nice. Pretty easy to use. So I'm still using. Pretty cool. That's got 520 megs of free memory. Some some apps don't work properly. I couldn't, you know, for some reason, the Dolphin web browser is not compatible, which doesn't make any sense. And so I end up with going with Opera Mini as my web browser, which is pretty cool looking. You know, let's see what does it look like if I go to something like Facebook. Whatever.
see what Google News will look like. Really, really nice and easy to read. Let's see what one of the stories looks like. Now let's see what our zoom looks like. Nice. You can zoom in real far. Real far, almost too far. You know, go back, 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 and exit. Settings. Once you go to settings, you're actually then getting to the Nook settings, not the what would normally be in Android settings. Same as ago if you would go there. And, and Dropbox doesn't work because it says that the there's no SD card installed. So I guess for some, I, I, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe a Dropbox doesn't work with the internal memory, but I'll be getting a, a you know a micro SD card. You know, Angry Birds. See how long it takes to launch. It's pretty pretty quick. And as I say that, it loads slow. I'm honestly not very good at this game. Especially at this angle. Stupid bastard. Wow, why is he wearing a pumpkin on your head, you freak? Whatever. Widgets. What kind of widgets do I got? Let's see, how about score center? Ooh, looks like the Huskies are going to win. But, like, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Wallpapers. Um, you know, go wallpapers just has one. To actually set the live wallpaper, you have to go to settings and then. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Wallpaper, and then if you want to pick live wallpaper, it's you know if you install a live wallpaper, it'll be there or photo gallery or wallpapers, which is the same as photo gallery. This is one thing that's kind of annoying. The since the Nooks menu bar is down at the bottom, status bar covers up these buttons so if you don't know what they are you can't you wouldn't know to click on them I wish you could put that at the top just to make it like a standard and and also it's not like that it's like when you have a notification the thing will you just click on that it doesn't actually pop up or slide down or whatever which is just kind of weird but yeah, like if I want to go into the settings for the for this thing, I go here and I'm pretty sure it's that one. And these are all weird because of the colors, since it's using the Nook color scheme, it's like white on white. So, you know, it's kind of it's more like white on kind of a really light blue. Um so let's say I want to change the that bold bulldoze. Come on. Let's 
See how it's running. 471 megs from free. I mean, da, da, da. I didn't free any memory, so let me refresh. 572 megs free.